Hey everybody, this is Collector Dude. I'm back with issue 5 of Soul Saga. They're very cool. Very, very cool artwork. Looks like it changed a little bit from the last ad. They darkened the image up a little bit on the figure. But it just looks really cool. Here's the back. Cool. What's really cool is look at that. PS2 and PlayStation Magazine. Your number one source for PS2. Wow. We're at the PS4 right now. And when's the PS5 coming out? <laughs> That's going to be interesting. When you look at that, I remember playing the PS1. Um, when I used, to, I worked and a guy had one. He left it at the uh, fire station where I worked. And I started playing the game when we didn't have anything going on. And I was like, Wow. And it was fun, so and because didn't know anything about what was going to be coming in the future, but it was fun playing with all, all that old stuff, and everything. But um, that was years ago. But okay, let's get into this and look at number five. Wow, look at that! That's cool. That is amazing. Okay, Utopa Prime, capital city of the Dominion. This came out in 2001. Just look at the details over here. Because he really went all out. He just did a really good job. A great job. An ageless metropolis raised from the dust of feudal darkness to shine the light of civilization throughout the world so many eons ago. A nexus of cultural enlightenment where every public square is crowded with iconic monuments from an age of wonder long past. Yet for the citizens of this urban Mecca, all the resplendent majesty is dwarfed by the sense of terrifying awe for any who look to the skies and behold Wow, double page spread here. The Draken himself astride the dread obsidian. A dark specter of menace whose visage strikes fear and am amazement in all who gaze upon him. Atop a raging beast as black as its namesake, namesake whose unholy breath sets the very air ablaze. Wow, that's cool. Look at that. That'd be a cool uh, poster. Wow, the detail. He looks heavy too. Foom. Very cool. He really did a great job. The coloring is just amazing. Into the depths of the ancient labyrinth. Each step descending towards a most unnatural audience. And then he's kneeling down, huh? The size of this guy. What's going on here? Ranching stones, long silent, begin to murmur, tremble, and rise. They are here. This Spooky ghosts and everything. Wow. We too have felt the awakening of the blade. It's amazing. I 
I'd like to see. I wish they made a trade paperback of this. I'm not sure if they did. I don't think they did. Wow. Advance to the left flank. Death to all and quarter to none. Die. Arr! Vicious, vicious fighting. Blam, blam, blam. Look at this. Ba boom, kaboom. It's like a comic book. All this different stuff. These are the coloring is awesome. This is Stephen Platt. I wonder, I'm not sure what he's doing right now. Is he doing different covers? Ronan Asante. Sounds like a designer. Hope you guys, whoever, if you're watching this and everything, hopefully you're enjoying this. But um, just to show you the artwork and everything, not much more than that. But um, go out and pick these up. And when I get to number six, I'll show. I have to show that online. There's something special about that one. Wow. The lighting, the ships are cool too. It's really nice. So doesn't this look kind of like David Finch as well? It's like he was before Dave. It's like it's awesome inks and everything and the pencils the detail different ads death violence brom Wow. Beaten him up. Never. Never. Next issue, Truce Revealed. In the letters page. That's cool. Evil, buy it online. More ads, Dreamer Design, Mech Destroyer, that's cool. Androids have invaded freedom fighters and falling Earth's soul hope lies in a secret. That's wild. Androids have invaded. Freedom fighters are falling. Earth's soul hope lies in a secret. XR-5000 is Mech Destroyer. Cool. Now here's a little preview of number six. Who you calling fairy? 
That is very cool. Araya. Mech Destroyer. More stuff about Image. March 2001. Different stuff going on. Then we got Red Star, the Red Star. In the back again. All right. I'm going to pause it because I'm going to combine issue six into this as well and give a little story about it. Okay, let me pause this. Okay, I came back to um, Comic Vine just to see what uh, is going on with issue six because I didn't realize there was a number six until I had flipped through the books and everything. But I see they're all online, but I think you can get a physical copy of number six. But here, look at this. This is from Comic Vine. And it's explaining the story here, what's going to happen. And it says, don't miss the next gripping installment of the epic saga from Sizzling Hot creator Stephen Platt and Christian Leitner. But look here. This issue was only released in Europe by a company named Generation Comics, a division of Panini France. It was released in December 03, written by Stephen Platt and Christian Lichtner. Pencils by pencil Stephen Platt, cover Platt, inks by Joe Weems, colors by Liquid. This is a very hard issue to find and purchase. And here it is here. I was like, wow, man. I don't know if you can get it on this here. This is, um, yeah, in 2003 it was released, but it didn't get put out uh, anywhere, but it was just released in um, Europe, it says. So, but I checked another site. Let me see if I can find it. Um, now, see, these are all, this is all my um, stuff for... My comic shop.com has all the different uh, issues on it, what I like to try to get. But like I said, I found most of them in half price books. But like I don't have this one. So if I wanted to get I get it for $2, there's only one on there. That's a different cover for it, or cover C. And there's cover B. Not too, doesn't cost too much. By Finch. See, um, just click on it. That's Finch's cover. That is really cool. I wanted to get that. But then uh, here's um, cover two. That's cool. And there's an explanation for it. I can get it for $1.70 if I want to get it. Or I can wait and try to find it in the wild at Half Price Books or something like that. Or go to a comic book store and get it. There's like a variation of this one C, this Michael Turner cover for... Um, Number oh, number one, Michael Turner. Get that back down. But uh, and here's another variation. There's number one B by Joe Madureira. That's cool. Number one. And then uh, here's another. That one's signed. And one A U. From another universe, it's got for nine ninety nine cover price. It says, "Well, there's number one, the one that I have. I did a video of it a while ago, but um, that's for two forty at my comic shop dot com. You could probably get them other places too, eBay and stuff. But I checked eBay; they don't have number six on there. But I went to another site. I'm gonna pause and I'll get to the site and I'll show you real quick. Okay, I'm back. I just went to this one site, Comic Scholar, Comicsology." So it's part of Amazon, but Amazon doesn't have any of these books on that on the Amazon site, but it's on this site. And I'm not sure if you can actually buy it, but here, Soul Saga number six. The actual book, look, it says it's for 99 cents. I'm thinking, are you serious? So if you wanted to get an actual comic book, I guess you can come on here, Comixology, and order it. Or would it be a digital version? I can't tell. So... Saying 15 HD, you got four stars. Um, it's got all of them on here. 
23 pages, 15 plus only, digital release. So it must be digital. August 20th, 2014. I don't know if you can get uh, an actual hard copy of it. But it's showing all of these here. And you can put it in your cart, but I'm not sure it would probably be just the digital version of it. But I thought this was cool too. Clicking on this here, you can actually see the inside artwork. So that's issue six. That's the cover. That is awesome. Well, look at this. Let's um, see. Um, the pages. Look at that. That is so cool. Then uh, that one. That is cool. And over here, this is the last page here. Let's see if I can get it. Come on. Let's see if I can turn it, see if that helps. Wow. Look at that. It's the last few pages. Or just pages in the story. I'm not sure um, what page it is, but... uh. That's just pages in the story. But I guess if you want to get the last copy, you could have to uh, get the digital one. But that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. But um, it's on Comixology. If you want to get all of them and you want to see the actual book, you can go on here and um, buy it on there for 99 cents. I put one in my cart and everything. So I'm going to check it out. But uh, that's Soul Saga number six. It'd be awesome to be able to get... Uh, Somebody to be able to find it and um, send it to you, huh? You found somebody to could check over there in their comic book stores and see if they have it. But that's all I have. But um, thank you very much for watching. This is so cool. I like doing stuff like this because this is just something I I love the artwork and everything. I've always wanted um, to have a whole set of these books. But I just found out this by checking it today. But thank you very much for watching, you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, and do you have a copy of it or do you have a digital copy? Like I said, you can get it at Comixology if you want to get one. But thank you very much for watching. You guys have a great day. Collect the dude is out.